What, <clears throat> good morning and how are you? This is, uh, I'm your host Tony Visco and welcome to Painting for Pleasure. I'm right now saturating my paper. i do a boat scene, a shore scene with a few boats on it. We'll see how this works out. Um, so... get my large brush here and make sure that this is thoroughly soaked and this will probably curl up <laughs> sure as it soaks through so what I'm going to do is soak the back as well This is the paper that I use uh, a lot for classes, and it's a very stiff, very durable paper, a mechanical made paper, and uh, tends to tend to curl up toward you on one side if I only moisten the front, you know, so it'll curl toward you. So th that's. That gives me an opportunity to flatten it out. So, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just uh, take a look at our reference material here. What I did is I compiled this reference material, put it together uh, to find it. Muddy, sandy. It's it's basically what it is. Is it's just basically low tide, and the low tide is going to form some mud flats and some all kinds of other stuff. But along with that, I have beach grass that I have to take care of and put in here. So, if I look at this, what I'm doing, I have some subtle subtle changes, subtle colors changes. Um, that are going on. What I'm going to do is just to let this sort of all dry a little bit. Take some water and maybe spray it. But before I even do that, I need to bring out some of the areas over here which are, I need to dry out, I should say, not bring out, but dry out some of these areas. We have a white boat that's in here too. Um, We've got this interesting bridge, but I can't do much about it because it's still too wet yet over there. So what I'm doing is I'm just arbitrarily just moving my brush over here to create some lighter areas. Lighten up some of this because this is all going to be marshy grass that's in here. So we have a light area that's back. I'm just taking some of that out so we can we can actually see the land mass. We've got a nice we've got basically a bridge that's really going across here. So let's just capture the top of that. And uh, so that's going to be lighter. This is all going to be sort of darker back here, or in the foreground. Let's see if this... It should be... It should be uh, humid enough. This is this might not dry. 
as quickly as I'd like so I'm just gonna sort of take some spots out here and there we're gonna have to put some darker areas back here too as well so what I'm gonna do is pick up another brush one of my round brushes pick up some stronger pigment I'm gonna go into my French ultramarine blue combined with my yellow ochre and uh, create that stronger green gray stuff that's going to go on out here uh, um, what I'm doing is I'm adding French ultramarine blue yellow ochre maybe a little bit of my burnt sienna and what I'm trying to do is to get my get it more pasty get this uh, a little bit more pasty and feel uh, that is to say maybe uh, the consistency is going to be more like uh, cream or butter as opposed to as opposed to milk or lighter you know coffee tea whatever however I've described it in the past that's a the description is not mine the description actually comes from Joseph Sabucker quite have a great deal of respect for him. He's a brilliant artist and he sort of coined these phrases. I think they were, I think it's I'm gonna attribute it to him. I'm assuming that that he uh, coined the phrases, but but it gives you an ability to just have the type of consistency that we're really looking for in in our painting. You know, you need those you need those darks you need those darks to be very strong over here. Um, offset. And what I'm doing is I'm just going in here and making some changes in terms of value. I want to do something over here. So we got that house, that white house that's going to sort of stand out um, and as I come down into these areas we're going to make some changes I'm going to go to a warmer warm some warmer darker but warmer values all right and those warmer values are nothing more than um,
a little bit more burnt sienna in my mixture. All right. Because this stuff is all sort of dark, let's change it up a bit more and get a little bit warmer, lighter, in my feel. What I did is I just added, just added some uh, opera to this whole thing, um, and a little bit of New Camp Vosges. Interesting change here, but this is all. Design. Now this is all going to be light over here, and uh, what's going to end up happening is we're going to end up, some of these areas are going to be darker between the bridge. So what we have is that we've got a dark, I'm moving over here out of the, we have a dark underside of this bridge. It's coming right across. Okay, right there. And with that being said, we also have some sort of dark marks that are underside. The bridge is underside where the we're gonna indicate the what's holding the bridge up here. Going across. Um, we've got a, we've got sort of a, we've got a shore over here too. Let me just do something here. We do have a, a bit of grassy structure. What, what is it? It's a that's that's over here and along this along this edge here. That's just basically where it comes down to the water. Uh, where the water line is, and we're just going to start to put in um. All righty What I'm doing is I just got a little bit of lavender on my brush, uh, changing it up a little bit here and there, but just just to give it a little shadow in this area here, a little shadow in this area here on the boat, and the underside of that boat's going to be dark. Um, we'll consider it real strong water line under here. This is basically any fouling paint on the bottom of the boat. Okay, so we'll do that. Take this out because it's a little bit... Okay. We're actually going to do the same thing in regard to uh, some shadowed areas over here. In here, uh, we've got a little bit of dark underside as well over in this boat here. Okay, and a couple little dark spots. This is this is the motor. Right.
And there's a little tiny one over there, but that's still wet. Um, okay. We got the strength of a little bit of a motor here, too. Let's just put this in. This is just, all I'm doing here now is just using a little bit of lavender. Uh, we're coming in here, I'll make some of these darker, but this is a, not a white motor, it has a silver, sort of a silver tint to it. Still wet, still too wet. Yep. Still too wet. Okay. So, all the back here, this is all in shadow. shadow underneath the bench there and the shadow actually extends beyond here. This side here is basically pretty much all in shadow back here. Okay, and of course all of this stuff is going to be in shadow around the boat. And we have a little bit of maroonish darker value here. Um, Let's get to change up a little bit of a, still a little bit of light. Change this color up a bit here. Light change in color there. And we're going to add we'll add some burnt sienna. Okay. All right. Give me, give myself the bottom of that boat. Here, got a nice dark area. Up here. And we'll get some, see if we can put these windows in now. Let's see, we got the, hmm. well, it's still a little bit on the damp side, so we're just gonna have to let that, let that go.
So we need this a little bit darker under here. These shadows. What I'm doing is I'm just taking, what I'm doing here now is I'm just taking some uh, Naples yellow to indicate the top. Well, I'm going to put them in down here. This is basically going to be all. Beach grass. So we'll do some cobalt, some new gamboge together. And add add some of that down in here. Maybe a little off the bow on that one. And we have we have a bunch of stuff that's going on up in this area here. It needs to be they're all scrappy, scrubby, scrubby stuff that this is a white boat. Okay. Again, it's a slow build, a lot of wet areas. Nice strong darks in certain areas here and there. Maybe make some of these even darker. I'm seeing a lot of little, what I'm doing here is I'm just putting in a lot of little uh, areas up in the top to make them look like we're seeing through some of these trees. You know, it's this, there's a lot of this stuff that goes on out there and you can just, you know, you, you're, really, you're really looking through, through a lot of that brush. Um, I'm going to let that dry a bit now. Let this dry a bit now. We'll put the shadows in uh, and the darks in in a bit. So I'm going to let all of this dry out. Um, I do want to make this a bit darker there.
this is just um, basically this is sand that's coming down here into the Bay Area and a lot of this stuff is just Bay Area so it's the tide is out All right, so we'll let that set up right now, and then we'll uh, we'll sort of get back to this. Get to doing just a. While we're waiting on this, we got a slight shadow on this boat here. Yeah, this so slight. This is going to be slight back in this area here. So I just want to make sure that that, um, that all dries out. Okay. And one of the things is in order to make this Oh, let me just keep my head out of there. In order to make this area a white boat, we do need a little bit of value or something around that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do the same thing with this because this is a white boat. I'll put a little bit of something behind here. All right. So we've got a little tone back there. Okay. Okay, so let's continue with this. I've basically it's all dried out. I actually let it set for a day. I didn't get back to this, but let's let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, what I did is I came in and I cleaned up a little bit of the, some of these spots over here. So now we're gonna end up starting to work on the enhancements, bring this out a little bit more because it's all dried out and sort of lightened up as you can see. So the first thing we want to do here is to get a little bit deeper in terms of our values out in this area here. You know, against the house we're going to put a little shadow in. Uh, let's take a little bit of shadow and put it right in here and maybe right down there and probably right under, under here. Okay. Um, and we're going to end up again putting a little bit of shadow in here. Now what am I doing? I'm using just a little bit of a little bit of French ultramarine blue but very very light. Very light. Okay. A little bit of shadow over there. Now we're going to do something. We're going to do the same thing over here because we're going to end up putting a little bit of shadow uh, in this, this grassy area over here underneath the bridge some of it's going to be light some of it's going to be a little bit darker and again just a little bit of shadow nothing major white house lighthouse white house Soften this up a bit on that side. So give us. Now I'll, I'll go back and I'll put a little bit more accent in there. Um, so the boat, the underside of the boat's going to be the same thing. We got the underside of this boat. This is the white boat here. And we're just going to again. Nice little shadow underneath that. Um, nice little shadow over here too. Boston Whaler type boat. And it is a Boston Whaler type boat. Usually they have 
um, the upper area here a little bit of yellow ochre the underside we're going to make nice a little bit darker because again that's the the water line that's where the anti-fouling comes in we'll define that like that Maybe a little darker here where the motor comes in. Um, this side, we're going to just beef that up a little bit more. I'm going to let that just set in there and then I'll lift it out, lift the colors out. I want to go back here and put a little bit darker colors. Values now, when I say colors, I, I know I, I talk about colors, but I want to get a little bit darker value in some of this uh, some of these trees that are back here so I'm mixing up <clears throat> my burnt sienna with my French ultramarine blue and just coming in here and gonna make some dark areas this is nothing more than blotches um, here and there carefully trying to create the illusion of some bridge-like quality over here, some darker trees that are going to come in over here. Um, these are arbitrary. And all I'm doing is I'm just going in and placing them in key areas just to help this out a little bit a few little dark areas um, very interesting let's let's create a few darker areas and here so it looks like we're seeing through these trees maybe A little bit of lavender, light blue. Varying some of this value out here. So it looks like some of those trees are off in the background a bit, a bit more. And just maybe branches of trees that have coming in on, on the other side here. Again, we're just putting in some darks. Indicate some bushes, brush. Some browns along with these dark greens or dark blues. To vary that up, give this area back here a little bit more strength. I want to make sure that we really can see that area right there where the house comes in. We may have a little bit of a outline of a 
property over there. Um, Maybe create a little bit darker. This bridge that's under here. A little bit darker. Not not too terribly important that we define it so much as we just make sure that we know that there's darks and lights in some of these areas back here We're just hitting the highlights, little spots here and there. Give it, just give it a little bit of value, stuff that's going on. Um, maybe, oop, maybe a little bit too. Yeah, let's get, wash some of this out a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to wash it out a little bit more than that, too, but... Okay. greenish what I did is I just took <clears throat> just took some Naples yellow and mixed it up a little bit with my new gamboge um, over and that was out of here now let's go back now that's done let's go back over here and look at Some of this grassy area. Around this area here. I gotta define that boat more. I gotta define this boat more. Let's get some real dark on the underside of this. Guy right here. Okay. Happens here is we got to let that set in some of this marsh area. Um, we need to do the same thing with this here, a little bit darker under here. Find that a little bit more. Find that a little bit more. Okay. So 
So now, <clears throat> so we have um, a little bit of wash color in here. We're going to end up coming in and putting a bit of a shadow in there. Okay, and let's say a bit of a shadow over here. Just a bit of a shadow. I want some, I want this back area. darker and I want this area here I got a nice strong the shadow that's coming down it's casting I want to outline that boat there Give that a little bit of a. Now we got these, this motor, which I can't figure. I mean, I have no idea. This is just a little bit, a little bit, a few shapes here and there is what it is. Okay. So that's my ground. And I'm going to end up. We've got a bunch of twigs in here and stuff. And there's all kinds of crap over here. I don't know what it is. Make that a little darker. Again, I'm, what I'm basically dealing with here is burnt sienna. And uh, Prussian blue, not Prussian blue, but uh, French ultramarine blue. Just want to create something that's got some strength to it back there. And we're going to put some lines in to, on that house a little bit more. See, I keep losing my value there. So we're going to have to do something with that. Um, Let's go back in and do a couple of little, little something over here for the boat. Little line there, maybe a little dark area here. skiff that's sitting there. Let's go back out.
change this up a bit. Now, in Okay, and we got some shadow in some of this. Land off in a distance. Of course, very difficult with a big brush here. We're just going to have to go back and probably take some of that stuff out a little bit more. Um, let me just put a little bit of a highlight here. A little bit of a highlight on that boat. A little bit of a highlight on this boat here too. Um, let's come back over here and get this boat a little bit more, make this a little bit more interesting. And darker and I add a little bit of a little bit of a red cast down Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with this here. Make that a little darker. I'm going to actually make this a lot darker. What I don't like what I have to soften I have to come in here and soften some of these this stuff here Now what I'm doing is I'm using, just going in here and using a bristle brush to soften some of this stuff up. Some of it is a little bit too too defined and I don't want it as defined. I just want it to, to give you the indication so it's actually all of this uh, marsh grass that's out there is not really that dark so we want to take it out remove it one of the ways to do it is with a bristle brush 
Yeah, you don't have to. Bristle brush actually lifts better. Okay. We can create some of these nice this nice patch of marsh grass that's out there. thin line out there that feathers some of this down. Uh, and maybe even, let's even lighten up some of this a little bit more if I can. A lot of water, let it soak in. And lift some of that out. All right. Good. Now, if this boat is white, and it's white, I know we got a little highlight on there, but if the boat is white, we got to put some darker stuff around it. And the same thing with this. You know, the, the problem with heart, the, the issue that I have, I think more than anything else with some um, painting wet under dry is that everything becomes a hard line. So in order to really do something with this thing, we got to sort of go back in and start to remove soften soften things up here and there now remember I'm working from a combination of three different photographs here so I'm I'm really going back and forth um, this gift um, this skiff has a nice, I'll do this softly too, but, it, but what it has is this, wood teak actually probably it's probably all teak on the top the little skiff of dory I'm gonna make a little dory there and probably we end up with uh, some ribs that are going to come down here. Make this stand out a bit more.
So. Nice and dark in here. We're just adding. Adding a seat there. And the center board here, it looks like this is a, probably something down here that's maybe a center board. And let's make this a little darker under here. Even darker. Under there. And let's talk about nice heavy shadow. It's not right. Oh, okay. That is not right. I'll have to look that out. I am not sure that's correct. However, The boat's on land, the shadow's there. Now we just have to let this dry out a little bit. Probably the best thing to do is to re-wet all of this stuff in here.
This is all grass. I'm just going to define, <clears throat> I'm going to draw that out a little bit more, uh, more accurately, I guess, is what I'm saying. Let's get, let's just get some. Now I need a heavy shadow. Heavy dark shadow. I still need this heavy shadow here. have to get over here. This needs to be curved more. Okay.
So let's get some water. And start to slowly, maybe take some light out here and there. Put some in. Okay. Okay, so now I need this boat is white. We need this has to be dark. Around it. And we got the same thing happening here in the we need we need some value around this if this is going to be a white. for that to stand out. I'm going to have to pop that out a little bit more.
Okay, it's almost done. Let's get some and then value in here. And now we're going to let it dry. Okay, so I'm just finishing this up with shadows um, on the sand. And uh, we've got, I think, I put some, I just put some light area in here. I'm going to make this lighter. I think I got this thing too dark. Here we need this dark against light on the sand area. Need this nice and light in here too. Okay, so the sandy area, the shadows, the shadows in that area, um, uh, there's some rolls. And what we'll do is we'll take some darks, some real darks, and we're going to come up here with um, some grass. Too dry, too much of a dry brush right there. But we have some silhouetted sort of grass in this area. Um, I'm just going to put some. thin thin lines in here to uh, indicative of, 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 of grassy marshy grass Um, um, shadows, on the ground, where the grass is. few here and there. Some dark areas.
Okay. And I'm just gonna, gonna come over here and get a little bit of water. seats put a little color in this one right here know, just to give it a little bit of spark And the other thing I'm going to do is just take this is basically nothing but um, Naples yellow. A lot of times the grass on the top tends to have a lighter yellower straw feel more strawy, I guess, feel to it. Well, we're working this a little bit right now. But that's going to do it for now. Let's see. The only other thing I want to do is give this a little bit. Let me just take a look at this. I need to. I want to get this a little bit brighter. And um, I think what I'll do is instead of instead of making that this pole here light, we'll just do this. That's rolled up. Inside of that cabin. Okay. I think I'm going to let it go because uh, I'm going to kill this thing pretty soon. So that's going to be it for now. A um, couple of boats, three, four boats, and uh, that's it. Thanks for being with me. I appreciate it. I'm your host, Tony Visco. Till the next time.